it's Ty Luck and welcome back to my channel. Today, we will be officially transitioning from the blue era into the purple era. Hair is purple now. We got this front part, the under part still. We have a lot of growth here, but I didn't feel like bleaching all the way to the roots again, so I just did what we have already. I'm growing out my hair, so we're gonna have longer hair soon. And I'm gonna continue dyeing it for as long as I can. And as long as there are still colors to try. But right now we're in purple. So let's do a makeup look for purple. There was a sale on Glam Light a couple of weeks ago. Maybe months now by the time I'm posting this. And I saw the wine palette. And I instantly snatched it up. Because like I know that's going to be the color of my the next hair color I have. So I grabbed it. It's in this nice little um, kind of like wine case. Oh, kind of wine case thing. And just wait till you see the colors on here. You will gasp like I gasped. Ah, look it. Look at that. Ooh, it may have been too bright for you to see, but the colors in here are amazing. Like this one, I think is the exact shade of my hair. And then this sparkle here, gorgeous. So I'm gonna do a look based off my hair and these colors. I'm not really sure like what sort of vibe we're going for. If we're going for something edgy, if we're going for like something soft. I have a lot of gems and I have some uh, dried flowers I can use. So we have some directions we can go in. So I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start and see how the vibe is going. See where I am taken. So I'm going to be using this Glam Light base here. It's the Icing Eyeshadow Base. And it's a nice, um, it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but it's not as, uh, you know, white as the P. Louise one. I used this on my Kazuha look, and it turned out beautifully. I also think this is uh, creamier and more moisturizing than the P. Louise one. And apparently my eyelids need moisturizing, because... When I use the P. Louise one, my skin kind of like gets flaky, so that's not great for an eye base, you know? I can also spread this one out more without worrying about, you know, having to clean up all the white. I'm just going to do one eye at a time, like usual. I'm going under the eye here because I typically put eyeshadow under my eye and because my eye, my under eyes crease a lot, this base will be better. I usually don't put concealer under my eyes so that's what we're doing all of this for. Usually I start with a dark color because I go into the crease first but I think I'm going to start with the light color because I'm feeling more of like a, a light vibe right now because I, I want to use the flowers and I haven't used these flowers yet. So I'm going to start with the crease still, I think. And let's go into this fine taste color here because this is a little too pink right now. Look at that pigment. Maybe let's do a rounded shape. We can do like a puppy dog eyeliner look. So let's round this out. I really want to use the sparkle shade here because it's purple with blue flecks and I love, absolutely love those sort of looks, those sort of eyeshadows. And I'm just going all the way around my eye here. Okay, for this next shade, I think we're just going to go one up into the pour it up. And I'm just going to use a really fluffy brush, just super fluffy. We're just dispersing the color. Woo. This blush is actually, I mean, not blush. This brush is actually wonderful. I got this from Daiso, the dollar store, but I love the way this is blending. And it's like picking up that color really well. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that light shade and try to keep that rounded shape here. Hmm, maybe I can do... I have an idea. Okay, it's not going to look that complex when I first start out, but just, just watch. 
Okay, on this lower lash here, I'm gonna start kind of like making a butterfly shape. We're gonna have this round and this little round here. But I'm not gonna go all the way under because then it's just gonna look like an eye bag. I'm just gonna make it a cute little, kind of like a, a petal, a little flower petal right there. And I'm just switching between these two brushes still and these two colors. You gotta be really careful doing this sort of thing underneath the eye because then it's just gonna look like you have bruising. But the flowers and the gems will really give it shape. And don't forget we have an eyeliner and a whole bunch of other things still. I think I'm gonna get a little bit of a darker shade now to line the bottom and to make a little bit more depth in this crease here. And I'm gonna use Vintage for that, this bottom color here. Ooh, or should I use Malbec? I'll try a little bit of Malbec. I'm sure that's not how you say it. I'm not a wine drinker. I think I need a little deeper. I wanna keep that rounded shape, but go into the crease. Got a little bit of patching here. Uh, that could be due to my blending. I'm gonna follow the vision and see where it takes me. Following the vision. I'm gonna go in with Napa. Napa? Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, I can do that all over the eyelid. Oh, wrong color. Look at that beautiful sparkle. I love it. I'm just gonna get a whole bunch of that. I kinda wanna clean this up already, just so I can see the shape I'm working with here. So I'll be right back. This is exactly what I want. I'm starting to get that fairy princess sort of vibe. I want this little tiny brush here, and I think I'm gonna get, what color? I, I wanna use this Chardonnay color, cause it kinda stands out, and I wanna put that on my bottom lash line there. Let's just see how that looks. I wanted it a little bit thinner, but maybe we can clean that up with a little bit of something or other. I think, I, does that highlight my eye bags? Maybe. Just disperse it a little bit. How about that? There we go. Digging it, I'm digging it. I don't know. I think I'm ready to move on. I think that's what we're doing with the eyeshadow there. I really love it. Okay, let's get my liner. Cause then after we do liner, we're gonna get into lashes, gems and flowers and all of that, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna do a, a little puppy liner. That's when it points down. And for this sort of liner, you just follow your bottom lash line. We'll see how it looks with the lashes. I'm really winging it right now, okay? Should I do a little bit of an inner corner? Completely blocking your view. Huh. I think that's as far as we're gonna go in the inner corner. Okay, let me look at my flowers, and then let me look at my gems. I feel like gems, then flowers, but I need to know what sort of flowers I'm working with before I decide on the gems. Because the size of the flowers dictates where the gems are going to be placed, you know? Okay, I have these pink ones with a couple of purples in there. Ooh, I have a lot of green, greenery. I think I'm going to use some of the white flowers in here. And I guess the purple ones in here. And maybe some greens. Oh, maybe I should place the greenery first. Oh, I think I need to do my face makeup before I do that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go do the other eye before I do all of this. So I will see you in a second. <laughs> okay, bye. So cute. Okay, for face makeup, I'm not gonna do a primer because I don't feel like it. I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. Um, it's 
skin tint. <laughs> um, I just got this. I haven't used skin tints in a very long time, like since sophomore, freshman year. So I was kind of scared to get another one because I just like using concealer like bare face most of the time. But the more I do makeup, the more I'm going to need different types of products. So I just got this. And I don't usually use a brush. I think I'm going to put this in a, a compact soon just so I can pat it on like how I'm doing now. But I'm not going to go all the way up to where my eye is. I'm just covering up what it needs to, making it all skin-like. The warmth of your fingers is what helps. I also don't have a brush that I know I can use this with, so... <laughs> Make it up as you go. I hate putting it on my chin, but my chin is breaking out right now, so I have to. And this other cheek I have a breakout on, so it's important here. I don't drop it right onto my face like you see everyone on TikTok and Instagram do because that's just a disaster waiting to happen. I just know I'm going to miss my face entirely and waste some of my makeup. And get it on my clothes and I'm going to have to wash my clothes and it's just going to be a whole fiasco that I don't want to deal with. So I'm just saving myself the trouble, okay? Just a little bit more. You know, I was shocked, absolutely shocked when I saw what my skin tone was, like what my skin match was. I thought for sure, oh, I'm tan. I'm going to be in like one of the higher numbers because that's just how it is when you're tan. You don't have like one or two I was number 10. I was shade 10. And I was like, oh, okay. Shade 10 it is. Amazing. Great. Oh, do I have a, an irritation right on top of my lip? How dare it. Right when I'm going to film a video. No, sir. No, sir. Ooh, I hate having makeup on my hands. Oh, it's the price you pay. It's the price you pay. I can't do this. I can't. <laughs> I had to get a tissue because I would have gone crazy having that on my, on my fingers when I'm trying to do the rest of my makeup. Next, I'm going to be using the M. I don't know if it's M Makeup or M Beauty, but this is the serum dropper, and this is the purple shade. I don't remember what the name is. It's a very, like, sheer blush. You can build it up, but I just, like, kind of adding it because it's fun <laughs> always get the nose and this is another one you just use your fingers for oh gosh it's gonna melt right in melting right in I have a powder, don't worry. You know, I, I it's always when I say, oh, this is a sheer product that it's like, are you sure about that? But the powder I have is kind of a tinted powder, so it's gonna even this all out. Even it out. Get a little bit on the temples, even though the hair is gonna block most of it. A little bit on the chin, and then wipe it off of my hands so I don't go cray cray. Okay, now I think I can powder. No, I cannot. Jinx. Joke's on you, Ty. I'm gonna try contouring again. Do you remember the last time I tried contouring and it was not great? So this is the M, Co oh, it's M Cosmetics. It's on here. M Cosmetics. So Soft Multi-Face Stick, I think it is. And it's in the shade Pangea. I haven't used it yet, so I don't know if it's stuck. Come on, don't make a fool of me here. Hello? Is it sealed? Oh, I'm uh, very smart. I was twisting it from the bottom, you twist it from the top. I'm gonna use a brush for this because I know I'm gonna make a, uh, if I just swipe it on, it's not gonna look good. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Whew. That's a lot. Is that even? And I'm just gonna blend that 
until I cry. <gasps> Blend up. I don't know if uh, this sort of product is for me. Maybe I should do it underneath my uh, uh, my my products next time. That's enough of you. I'm not even going to attempt to do the nose. I'll save some experimentation for later. For later. Did it work a little bit? On camera, it works a little bit. Oh my god. I'm gonna powder. Should I try my nose? Oh, now there's nothing on this brush? How convenient. How convenient. I'm gonna try it. Never say never, Ty. Just gonna get a little tiny bit on this brush. I don't know how to contour the nose. Oh! But I'll try. Yes, I will. I will try my darndest. Literally what? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. I'm gonna get addicted to that. I will get addicted to that. I'm gonna powder before I lose my damn mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose it. Literally, what is that nose? Just watch while I'm editing this, I'm gonna look at it and be like, ooh, that's a horrible, horrible contour. I'm just powdering everything, okay? I don't bake. I don't I don't do all that hoopla. Maybe I should. Stop it. Stop. Don't get addicted, Ty. Don't get it twisted. You were just another on the hit list. Didn't they tell you that I was a savage? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more blush. I'm gonna do the ColourPop, Sailor Moon, Cat's Eye. Just cause I love, love to be blushed. What is life without blush? Sad. Entirely sad. Hello? Who's that? Who is that? Okay, now we need to decide what we're gonna do with the flowers here. This is a big decision. Let's do greenery, f mm, 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 nope. Flowers first, I think that's a better idea for me. And then we, we, we decorate with the greenery. No. Oh. This is my first time opening this. God, oh. From it. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, these are delicate. I mean, they're real pressed flowers, so what did I expect? Yes, I'm just gonna send it, you know? I'm not even gonna think about placement. I'm just gonna decorate to my heart's content. There's like two of each flower, so we just gotta match it on both sides. We got this. And I'm using lash glue. Hopefully that's a good decision. I should probably do it on both eyes so I don't forget what I'm doing. 
Okay, one flower is bigger than the other, but you know that's how it is in nature sometimes. Okay, for my eyebrows, I've just been filling them in. Ugh, everything is falling over. I've just been filling them in a little bit in the front and just like the sparse areas with this e.l.f. Uh, like $3 stick. There really isn't any rhyme or reason to what I do. I just do it until it looks... Oh, that looks great. <laughs> and just brush them through always. Don't you ever not brush your eyebrows through. Because that will clear up any of your mistakes that aren't on your eyebrow. See, like right there? I just brushed it away. And not a worry in the world. <laughs> okay, and then I just, I got this in like a pack for Christmas. It's the 24-hour brow setter by Benefit. It's just a clear thing, but it like holds them down so well. So I'm gonna go in with these little tiny pink ones now. Look at how cute. I think we should layer this a little bit with the purple one we already have going, cause we don't want them to be too sparse. Oh yeah, that's the spot. That was perfect. Maybe I should just leave it at the two flowers. I think we're just gonna leave it at that. Okay, I have regular gems and purple gems. I feel like I must, I'm required by law to use the purple gems. The question though is, donde? Where? In her corner? Oh, in love. Hold on, I didn't go as far in the inner corner on this eye, so I need to fix that. Oops, stay. Okay, this is gonna take a long time, so I'll be right back. So I went ahead and did my lashes off camera two. Here are the gems. I can't close my eyes. I got a lot of glue in my eye too, but I decided not to take my makeup off. So if I go blind, at least I'm beautiful. Okay, last step. I think I'm gonna put on a little bit more blush. Just a little. I just want to glow like the princess I am. And now for the lips. The lippies. I'm going to be using the lip cushion from M Cosmetics. It's a tinted lip illuminizer. Whatever that means. But honestly, this is gorgeous. I don't know how uh, dark I want it, but it's this beautiful berry shade. Love it. This is one of those ones where it's like, you put it up and you can't put it back down. It doesn't match. <gasps> I need a different color. Okay, BRB. It does not look good. <gasps> I can't ruin this all. Okay, so I went upstairs and I used my Etude House Fixing Tint in Dusty Beige. And then I put on Tower 28 uh, lip gloss in I think Almond? It was one of the holiday shades. I'll put it in the description down below. So, to finish off, we gotta do highlighter. This would not be a look without highlighter. So I have this beautiful Fenty highlighter palette that I got for Christmas. And I'm just gonna use this pinkish shade here. And it's beautiful. Cause I am beautiful. No matter what they say. Words can't. Bring me down, no. So don't you bring me down today. And um, it's almost my birthday, so I got myself a little early birthday present. And do you wanna see what it is that I think would be perfect for this look? This little like princess fairy look? Can you guess? Tiara. It is from Sweet V. They have their own website and they're on Amazon. Oh, it's upside down. Sweet V. I love it. And we're done. I will have all the products that I use down below. I will be posting this on Instagram so you can see uh, linked products there. It's a little hard to link them on YouTube, but I am absolutely in love. Do we have a new profile picture here? 
I think so. I think so. We got to have a new profile picture for the purple era, people. So that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my experimentation a little bit. And I hope to see you guys again soon. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Go check out my Twitch channel if you can. It will be linked down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to go. TikTok. Wink, wink. And... Did I ever say make sure to like and subscribe? I think I did. Anyways, love you.